nature is as natural as it can. And when one is pressed, the natural instinct then is to release oneself. Well, for so many people around the world, the question where does not arise. But for over one million people, men, women and children who live in this informal settlement, the question where is a predicament they have to deal with every day. kuna shida ya choo mnafanyaje inabidi tununue choo kuna watu wamejenga macho zao binafsi sasa tunaenda tuna, tuna tunalipa ndio uende ndani choo yetu iko huko chini eh hata ukienda huko unashangaa mama mm. choo ina nini hiyo choo iko na machapo mhm ukienda huko hata usikuni si uende huko kama usiku usiakisha ni kitu uangalie Mm. Kwa tu wao wende tu na utoe nguvu hupupu haraka fanye nini utoke <laughs> lakini iko na shida nyingi sana na watoto si watoto tunawapea poti mm. tunawapea poti wenyewe tunaenda kunywa huko chini na wewe tuseme usiku ukitaka kwenda kwa choo unafanyaje wewe sienda huko peke yako <laughs> ukienda peke yako nini nakufanyikia mm. si mahali penye unaweza kupari uende peke yako si wakoro unaweza kukushika huko kama ni kwenda cho uende mapema juu huko chini tena kuna wakora huko chini wanaweza kurepo oh mari eh nduri himo kana baba kule ako basi ile ile ni picha ana hivi la rada kama huko ndio ba kama kwa rada kana wale wengine bala msiende kuusa mtu kwa bofu fanya nini kukojoa kwa nini unakojoa kwa nini unakojoa kwa bofu sisi hatuna choo ya kukojoa Inabidi twende tukojoe kwa bafu ama tukojoe kwa nyumba kwa kasuku. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, na sasa usiku ndio unakojoa kwa kasuku ama hata mchana. Unapupuka ah. <laughs> una, una kwa poti mtoto. <laughs> Kama unachapata pale pa kunia, so una poti kwa poti ya mtoto. Hmm. Na mtoto sasa yako wapi? Amelala. No, na mtoto akiwa kwa nyumba unafanyaje? Tunamwambia toka nje kama ni mchana. Sasa utafanya nini? Ama kwa karatasi. Kijani <laughs> kola hii. Wewe una pupu wapi? Pataka taka. Wapi hapo? Kwa chini. Na kususu na susu wapi? Mkebe. Na usiku ukitaka kupupua ama kususu unafanyaje? Kwa mkebe. Tunaenda kumwaga. Unamwaga mavi yako wapi? Kwa siwe chini kwa siwe chini. Mgonjwa ya kipindupindu ikikuja inaadhiri sana sisi wa mama na watoto. Hata ukiangalia wewe mwenyewe hospitali sana sana wale wako huko wengi ni watoto na wamama. Si, wanaume si sana sana. Mnatumia wanaume na wanawake? Si ndio. Si wote tu hii plot yote. Ni kama plot ya plot ya watu ngapi hivi? Karibu 200 hivi. Hata mimi sasa singine na wake yanga hapa sasa singine kama nimecherewa. Hmm. Naona hivi hakuna acha ya kongochea mtu atoke huko ndio ni hoke. Na okea hapa. Hmm. Mtu akipita pale apita tu mimi nimeshamaliza kuoka na ingia kwa nyumba. Umelipa pesa ngapi ndio uoge kwa hii bafu? Kobole. Kobole. Ndio uoge hapa. Kwa shawa. Kwa shawa. Kuna shawa? Eh. So these are new units, toilets and bathrooms. To have a shower in one of these bathrooms costs at least 5 Kenya shillings and uh, to use the toilet costs 5 shillings as well. Najua katika hii hali tunakaa saa zote wangu anashikwa na TB mara homa ya kila mara nikienda hospitali wananiambia mali unakaa inaonekana hapa kwa pachafu sana si pa safi na nitakana ukae kwa mali kuna hewa safi na hizi mitaro zinapitisha maji chafu hizo mafi makojo kila kitu takataka hizi makaratasi za zenye zinatoa mboga nini nini zote zinamwagwa tu hapa Asa mimi naona sasa tutakuwa na shida nyingi ya nini sana ya usafi. Hygiene yani. 
Lakini mimi naona mtu akiniweka mahali kama kuna maji, kuna hewa safi, kuna cho. Hakuna ati ile overpopulation, unakuwa na nafasi yako mzuri mimi naona. Hata hii udhaifu yenye niko nayo ya mwili inaweza isha. Behind me is part of the population that lives in Kibira. In the course of this story, I got to visit Kibira, Korogosho, Mukuru Kwajenga, all different informal settlements, different locations, but the stories remain the same. Sanitation is a problem that they have to face on a daily basis. Hi.